right, so we're set to go. Lance Rebel calls it in. Is John Hopewati getting his final instructions? Neil you know, Billinghurst, August Viafali work in the corner with him. Yeah, since Dino's taken over, he's worked very, very hard with John Dino's a, a great guy, great trainer. I know he's there, put a lot of time and effort into trying to you know, fix up the defensive uh, little flaws that John's had, and I think he's done a great job. Big crowd over here rooting for Hapawati. I've seen uh, at least 100 Hapawati shirts around uh, Hamilton on this day. This is a preliminary fight leading up to the David Tour. Shane Cameron, fight of the century. There should be fireworks from the get-go here. Hoppa decked out in the gold and in the green. Colin Wilson. Wilson the southpaw, jabbing with the right hand. Big, strong, powerful, six-foot-five-inch former champion Colin Wilson. Hoppawati taking his time here in the early going. And the big guy jab away at him. Expect to see Hoppe try to throw the big hooks and the right hand catches going. Just grazed the chin, almost tipped him over with that. In your head. Works downstairs. Hoppe a little bit patient here. He's not going to land the big shot, Jeff. He's just taking his time. And he marks me to mention his sponsor, Dillinger, today. Uh, great commercial company here in Sydney. They sponsor the Manny Seals. They also sponsor John Operati. Great group of people there in the Dillinger's. Papa has hit him a couple of times, and both times Wilson went up against the ropes, uh, especially the body shot, so there's considerable power in favor of Papa. He goes reaching downstairs with the right hand. We call him Wilson trying to tap, tap, tap of that right hand, which is his jab. But you know, when he jabs, he pulls his left hand back, and can he be hit with a counter right hand? I want to tell you. It's there. Watch him when he, when he definitively throws a jab. Watch the left hand. It drops and comes down away from his chin. You see that? Every time he does it, he drops his left hand when he, when he really extends the jab. Papa comes inside, bangs the body. Colin's not really strong on his feet. He's taking some shots here now and has to hang on. And Papa just throws him away. That's Rebel will have no part of that. Yeah, look, he can't do that. Well, the last time he fought, I, I trained Bob Moody a couple of fights earlier, and when Hopper threw him, Bob broke his arm. Well, yeah. he's very so careful. Good. Yeah, yeah. he's got to concentrate more and forget about using the sheer strength and he's got no boxing ability, boxing skills. That's better. <laughs> Remember, Rugby was the most penalized. He couldn't follow that in boxing, I suppose. Colin didn't react too much to it. He just figures this is part of the game. He's been around a long time. A lot of professional fights as a low blow that time. And Hopper now, Lance hasn't said anything, and now he finally orders Colin Wilson to the corner. Colin gives a wink over here. He, he got his comeback in Sydney. Hopawati, even though they have a protector down there, when you get hit right on top of it, Jeff, you're going to count the game. Oosh. question about it. They can give him up to five minutes if they want, but most fighters don't take it. Let's yeah. ask him if he's okay. You know the funny thing is, Hopper threw him on the floor, he didn't know. It's just it's run back. That's it. That's all. But right now, Colin Wilson with time running out here in the first round, trying to reach downstairs. Oh. Big Hopper gets that round based on the land, landing heavier blows. See the bruise up by the left eye of uh, Colin. I don't like again the way Colin has his arms. It makes the hot pump hard work. Yeah, he's the replay of the first round. The right to the body is Hopperati's figure four leg throw or something. You want to call him a shorter call? There's a low blow there. Uh, I don't know if it was a catch or not, but he just for him. Whether it was or not, you know, uh, sometimes you've got to, you know, fly with fire, Rob. I agree. Hey, let the referee warn you a couple of times. It'll take the steam out of a guy that's trying to throw you around the ring. No problem. You've got to realize, you know, and Colin Wilson's in his late 30s now. Mark's up much easier than in the, in the younger days. That big welt uh, beside the left eye. Neither fighter, fighter was down in the first round. Nobody's shaking other than a low blow and Hapawati a little bit shaken by that. 
So here we go with round number two, the Glenn Bob Sheridan Hill, with Hall of Famer Jeff Fennick, three-time world champ next to me, Ben Brown and our entire staff here at Mystery Creek and Hamilton. And I know you have the great anticipation for the next fight that's coming up, the fight of the century. Tua and Shane Cameron doing battle. For all facts, the purpose that fight is a heavyweight eliminator. And it's certainly the biggest fight ever. <laughs> Wilson had to hang on. He was hurt by that shot. Coming back, Alba goes to the body again. He gets Wilson back and up, but he, you know, the uppercut is there, and Hapawani lets it fly. He throws the right hand of the chest. You know what I like about Hapawani? He doesn't care where he catches it. He, he throws and catches a piece of it. Oh, that's for sure. That's Hapawani. Well, he gets clipped on the left side of the jaw. There's the two hard shots in the head, one on the top of the head. One with the right hand, one with the left hand, and Papa taking command here in round number two. Colin goes fishing downstairs with a long, reaching left hand. They can't be any power with that, with the legs so far apart. Coming forward, looking to land the shot. Minute 42 seconds to go, and this is the second round of a scheduled eight-round affair here in the heavyweight division. These are two big heavyweights. Well, Hapawadi is just sitting on that right hand. All the way on that back leg, he's waiting for a big right hand, Hapawadi. And it's there. Yeah, I pointed out in the first round, when Big Colin reaches with his right hand, and that's his jab, he drops his left hand. He's wide open to counter right hand by Hapawadi, who is quick enough when he sees it against the big lanky guy, he can drop that right hand right on top of that cheek. He came in that time and the, the left hand was low again and up one instead of going back one of these times he'll plant, throw the right hand back. Trying to do it that time and it whistles past the nose of the big guy. Colin Wilson, a very popular athlete. Born here in New Zealand, but better known for his boxing in Australia, former Australian champ. Papawati, the reigning Australian heavyweight champ, won that in his last fight, his last time out against the big guy Bob Maravich. You know Colin Wilson's for Joe Wagner, he's for the move. Yeah! The straight left hand crashes to the high cheekbone of the hopper. He gets a piece of hopper again. Hopper slides around to his left. Goes with the left jab, looking to land the big right hand as always. Sets up the jab. You got to throw more right hands behind that. No, he's skipping to the right hand. He wants to load it up so much. Talk about sitting down on the punches. Yeah, it almost tasted, Jeff. I don't like a guy coming at me like that. There's a, a guy coming at me with a loaded gun. Oh, Is it enough to give Colin Wilson the second round? Well, it was a, a nice straight uh, left hand there. You know, oh yeah, we're going to take a commercial break. We'll be right back to round three. Colin Wilson there. Oh, there he's a straight left hand, uh, 